Alan Wiles here, part three of the Eamon Break Chop Up. Um, this is where we were before. We had uh, chopped up the break and put it into multiple outputs using different effects in the mixer on Aux's look. Separate slices being treated individually. There you go, that's that one. That's what's in that <coughs> output. That's just the snare. And that's another snare. There's the outputs look from the sampler itself. Let's glitch it up a little bit more. Let's uh, just adjust the ADSR settings so we can get a nice clipped feel to it. Look. Bit of filtering, filter cutoff, bit of resonance. So let's edit the actual sample slices themselves. There they are. Make sure you've got view all selected. And scroll along to the right and find loop. There it is, the third one down. I'm going to loop. Bring up the numbers a little bit and then you'll. It'll loop between those two numbers. Have a listen. Adjust these till you uh, like the sound of it. You can scroll along and uh, select that little upside down triangle next to the name of the slice and access the sample editor. Sometimes a little bit um, buggy on refreshing, but uh, if you scroll down, you can have a look where the loop point is set and you can change it yourself select another one to loop I selected it brought up uh, the samples So I'm just going to loop a few um, slices. Yeah, it sounds in tune. Ish. a new aux for that slice itself. There it is. And put the buses on those on that new slice.
and adjust these to taste. You notice the smaller the loop amount, the higher the pitch. So you can sort of tune these slices a little bit. to cut off, a bit of resonance. Do a save every now and again. There is a way where you can put those um, separate slices, the ones I've put out of their different, their own outputs, we can put them in their own group and offset the filter so the filter is open for those while it's closed for the others. I just need to create a new group for those uh, individual samples. Which ones are they? They are they're in five and six. Six, three, and four, and seven, and eight. So I've stopped. I'm going to go to groups, and that's the main group there. So I'll go back to zones. Let's have a look. That one. New group. I'll call that group something like um, stuff or something. There we go, and. I'm going to go back to the all and I'm going to drag those WAVs into that new group like that and like that and like that and then select that group and you'll see if you scroll along this filter offset so I could have the filter open for the, those slices that I've put in that group and have a filter offset. Here we go. So some are coming through brighter than others because there's a filter offset in that group itself. Let's offset the other way so the filter is a lot more closed for those. So the slices that are coming out of their individual AUX outputs have been put into a new group of their own on the sampler. And then the filter is offset. I could uh, assign the LFO to the filter cutoff in the matrix here as well. Create more sonic experimentation. There you go. It's five o'clock in the morning, all of a sudden. And you've been looping for about eight hours. But there you go, that's part three of uh, rinsing and glitching up the Amon drum break. Remember, you can do this to everything, anything you come across, you know, vocal samples, anything at all. Chop and have a go at it. It's Alan Miles, I'll see you later.